Hey everybody, screw you back for the uh, match where I'm going to finish up with Mr. Shaoror uh, in our Dominion League. If you remember last video, we had uh, played two games, and I won one, lost one, so I'm 1-1 one, one against him, and it's his turn to go first. So, we're going to go ahead and knock these games out and determine our standings thus far. How do I make him first again? There we go. Okay. All right. Without further ado, let's get into it. Okay. So, what's going on here? All right. This is a governor. We've got governor. I don't see any attacks that could really slow down, or really any to speak of at all. Uh, there's Bishop here, is that significant? There's also Labyrinth. I think this board is going to focus fairly handily on Governors. That's my prediction so far. I wonder if Bishop's going to play in here though. I really do wonder that. It might. If I get a bishop, uh, you know, timing the buy of it is going to be really important. Of course, you don't want to get it too early. You don't want your opponent to benefit from the thinning as much as you benefit from it. I don't think Apothecary plays here. Um, even though drawing all those coppers would be nice, uh, I just think going for it's too slow. Is there anything other than just straight money that's going to help me with get more governors? I think that I would rather have a poacher than a silver on four, for the most part, because I'm going to be getting silver from him playing governors on me to gain golds. And I can remodel the silver, the poacher into a gold on my turn. I don't know. Do I take poacher over silver for the most part? He opens with the big. You know, if I really want to get a governor right away, I could go banquet. But I don't think so. I think I'd rather, for now, go ahead and take the poacher. I think I'd take poacher over silver at four here. It's probably going to be about a silver on average. You know, because it'll draw me probably at least a copper's worth of value. And it's not it's gonna it's one more card I'm not gonna have to draw through to get to my governors. Okay, he goes for the uh governor and the bishop by getting a banquet. And I am going to Hmm. Huh. Okay, I think I wanna try to capitalize on the increased thinness I'm going to have by him going the bishop, so I'm not going to get a banquet myself. Alright, uh, next up, I'm going to buy a governor. Very happy here if I draw my silver. Nope. Oh, it uh, doesn't matter. I hit five twice, so that's good. Hitting five twice is, is pretty good. So, a lot of the route that he's going is getting him more of these labyrinth uh, points that I'm getting. I do have to decide whether or not I'm concerned with that. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn this estate into a... Hmm. Do I take Poacher, or do I take Secret Passage? 
the governors are going to be out, so poacher is going to be a bad card. Once that becomes the case, though, I can start trashing them into golds and governors. I'm going to go ahead and take the secret passage for now, though. Cycle a little bit faster to my governors. Uh, the poacher might have gotten me more governors, though. I may have wanted to take the poacher instead. He's choosing uh, if and what to trash. He turns an estate into a silver. I'm going to grab a haven. That gets me my labyrinth points. So that's good. Okay, I draw a card off of that. He's gonna buy himself a governor. Trash my last estate and turn it into... Uh, I think at this point I have, I'm gonna have enough governors that I'd rather have the secret passage. If I get the opportunity, I'm definitely going to trash my poacher and turn it into a governor. Oh, does he decline to trash? Okay. He must have a good hand. I'm going to buy a governor. Governors are split right now with me having three and him having two. So nothing crazy there. But I would like to certainly get as many as I can still. Okay. Um, I'm going to draw cards with this, and let's set this aside. There we go. Um, put this copper on the bottom, gain a gold, and then... Oh, I could draw cards and maybe... Huh. I should have drawn with that one so that I could have maybe trashed the silver into a governor and bought another governor if my ha if my draw was good enough. Um... No matter. Gain this gold. And I'll take a governor. I feel like I could have done that turn better. That turn felt a little unfocused. Let me know in the comments what you would have done with that turn. I'm actually kind of curious how you would have handled that. Grab a governor. I believe we're going to split the governor's 5-5 here. Yep. Okay. <clears throat> so, so um, now that we the governor split is determined, uh, we get into the next phase of the game, which is going to be mostly about um, playing your governors to gain provinces, I think. So, let's see. Hmm. Um... So, what do I want to buy this turn? I'm probably going to go ahead and take this silver and put it on the top of my deck and then turn this gold into a province. Let him do his thing. And I'm actually going to buy a gold now. I may end up getting a bishop here at some point. If I'm going to get a bishop, we might be getting close to the time for it. Hmm. <clears throat> 
So if he plays a governor, I think the thing to do is going to be trash this poacher. And, oh god, what am I going to gain with it? Like, the poacher's not a good card anymore. I mean, you know, it wasn't great to begin with, but... What am I going to gain with the poacher? Am I going to take a heart? It's it's harvest, cash, or duchy. Um, <laughs> I, I don't think I'm scared enough of his score to go duchy. Um... Hmm. Okay, well. That might change things, because now I have a copper I can then. If I set shoes. Ooh. I can just thin it right here. Okay, and he's probably going to buy a province, I'd imagine. We're close enough that, yeah. Okay, so now, um. The question becomes, drawing cards, ooh, okay, now I think I play the poacher, discard that, um, set something aside, uh, three, okay, set this copper aside, and trash to gain a province. and buy a province. At this point I think I consider the duchy on the secret passage, but the secret passage is going to be good for my turn. So maybe not. In fact, if he trashes with his governor, I don't think I I don't think I trash anything out of my hand anymore. I'm up a province, but he has those point ships. Let's see, I think he has two more governors in his deck. Unless we, I think we split governors evenly, 5-5. Five, five. So... What does that mean? Is he going to get to remodel golds into provinces? I don't know how many golds he has in his deck, actually. Okay. He has one more governor. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'll thin this copper. He will go ahead and buy a province. Or, he no, he buys the duchy. I guess he's worried about me getting four provinces on my turn? Hmm. Alright, so... What did he... What, what money did he actually play? Two silvers and five coppers. So, how much gold does he actually have in his deck? He, I think he has two golds. So he could gain three provinces in a turn. Um, so... Let's draw cards. And let's draw some more cards. Okay. All right. Next up, let's um, trash this silver and turn it into a duchy. He 
trash as a copper. Next, let's actually play this poacher, now that I have a little bit more information. Um, okay. Hmm. We're going to trash this silver and turn that into a province as well. Or into a into a duchy as well. Next we should turn this last silver into a duchy, I think. And then buy a province. And make my deck terrible, but have a point lead that I'm comfortable with. I don't think he's going to triple province. I think he only has two golds in his deck. So he could... Uh, does that get him to 44? If he gets all three provinces, he wins. So... That's bad if he does that, but we'll see. I don't know if he'll do it. He has to play two governors to gain provinces. So if he plays another governor to do anything except gain a province, he's not winning this turn. Okay. If he... Okay, so he's not going to win this turn. <clears throat> I'll turn this poacher into a duchy. Um, trashing cards is now irrelevant for me unless it gets me points, so I won't do that. Okay, I think he only has one gold in his deck now. Alright. So he is seven points down. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm in the strongest position if I just gain three golds and then buy that duchy. Because then he won't be able to get enough of a point lead, I think, to play with the three pile, really. And then he won't really be able to buy a bunch of provinces either. And I think that he's lost the capacity to gain multiple provinces on his turn. So, yeah, I believe this is my best play in terms of just guaranteeing that I win the game. We'll see, though. I think I'm probably, ha depending on how this draw goes and how I'm pretty sure it's going to go, I think I'm probably havening away this governor for a uh, later turn, but we'll see.
So he needs to have more gold in his deck to get closer to winning the game. You know, whether he intends to do that with bishop points or with um, gaining provinces, I think gold factors into that. And I think he only has one gold left. Wait... Yeah. Uh, I think he's only got one gold left. And I gave him a bunch of silvers and took all the duchies. So I think that to, to surmount my point lead, he's going to need... Oh, Poacher's now a terrible card, by the way. Uh, he's going to need to uh, get some golds. He's got two more governors in that deck of his. He's figuring out how to play his turn out to maximize its impact, I imagine, which it can understandably, it takes some time because we're playing with Governor, and there's a lot you have to consider in a Governor game when things are relatively even like this in terms of the Governor split. You know, he's got to figure out um, how to manage... Okay, so I think he's figured out that he needs the golds. Um, okay. I do not want to trash anything. Okay. He might just need to buy the province. Okay. Now I need to worry. Now he could feasibly um, win the game on his turn if I'm not careful. So, how much do I trust my draws? Do I keep this turn going? Or do I set the governor aside? Hmm. If he has a big Hail Mary turn, he could gain all the provinces. And that would be a huge problem for me. Because I would lose. But if I play Governors to draw cards, I'm helping him do that next turn if I don't win the game myself. So... Hmm... Could I win the game myself? I've got 18 cards to draw through here. And... How much gold do I have? Well, I could at least buy a province. Yeah, I could at least buy a province, which would put me to 51. And then if he gains two provinces after that... That puts him to 51, but then he could get bishop points. So I would need to gain two provinces to make it worth it to keep drawing. So instead of that, I think what I'll do is go ahead and buy the estate. And now next turn I pretty much cement my victory if he doesn't win the game this turn. I'm in a very dangerous position this turn so let's see what happens. Okay. He needs to play two governors to gain provinces and one governor 
to or uh, two governors to gain provinces, and then he needs to buy one. Um, he could definitely buy one. Okay. All right, so it was very close, but this turn I win the game. Uh, well, this turn I pretty much get an insurmountable point lead at least. Um, I don't see a reason to buy the estate or anything, but um, I'll take a haven. There we go. <laughs> I think I've won the game at this point. I don't think he can come back. Um, no need to trash anymore. <clears throat> Let's just end this. Not gonna drag it out. Alright, well, he played a good game. He really did. That was close. There were a couple of turns where I could have just lost if I wasn't careful. Uh, let me know how you would have played that, because uh, Governor is a tricky card to optimize, definitely.